Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a vlog type video I guess um, Not done one of these in a long time and thought I would do one today Going to Costco and then Steelers um, My lipstick looks orange for some reason, but it's not <laughs> Don't know why it looks that colour, maybe because of my eyeshadow um, All Shane Dawson palette, <laughs> I'm so happy there's an orange in there But yeah, I have my Kenny Omega t-shirt on just to represent <laughs> um, and yeah here are my nails that I got done yesterday done by Samantha Gill Beauty in West Milton if you are from around the Sheffield Rotherham Doncaster area definitely go and check her out look at those Steelers inspired so nice <laughs> I'm in love with them um, so yeah let's get on with the day my hair is a mess at the minute because I haven't done it um, I have kind of cornrows in here now. Um, got these done yesterday um, by hairdressing by Natalie, who's in the same place as I get my nails done. She's amazing. She does my mum's hair, and my mum's hair looks awesome right now. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the day, I suppose. See you in a bit. Costco was pretty boring, didn't buy anything, just, <laughs> I suck at vlogging these days, like, I don't like recording anything in, like, <laughs> out in the real world, because <sighs> I get anxiety, and I feel like people are looking at me, and I don't know, I just feel <laughs> really awkward, um, so I kind of didn't record anything, <sighs> but I'm getting ready to go to the Steelers now. And yeah, I always enjoy a good Steelers day. Um, yeah, so I have a dilemma. Which jersey should I wear? So here are my options for the day. We have Eric Meland, which this fingernail is based on. <laughs> the front of this jersey is like this one. Um, yep. I have my Halloween Marco Valorand one, which has got ghosts and bats and pumpkins up here, skulls and everything on there. I love this jersey. And then we have my home jersey, which if you can see it's got these lines on it, which this one is um, taken inspiration from, of Nikolai Lemchikov. Good old Russian Lemmy. <laughs> His signature is adorable as well. The big old smiley face. I still need to get this one signed by Marco. <laughs> so, which one will it be? So, I went for the Eric Melland one. Um, the one that's like this one, as you can see. Ah, um... So yeah, let's hope we actually get a win. We went to Manchester at the weekend to watch them and they lost again. We just can't beat Manchester. It's the thing that happens, we just can't beat them. <laughs> but today we're playing commentary, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I just got back from the old hockeys and yeah I, it was a good game it was a very very good game um yeah we won 4-2 4-2 two. it was definitely 4-2 4-1 damn it was 4-1 um so yeah it was a really really good game actually um i don't know what this part of my hair is doing here but anyway yeah, it was a really good game. Um, it was kind of like um, Anthony De Luca versus the world for quite a lot of that game. Um, yeah, he was literally just. I think he had like three fights, and yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so yeah, he got the crowd going an awful lot. Um, and then there was Marco Valorand who was being a little shit the entire game, which was really good. And yeah, Duba made a lot of good saves. Like there was one that was like straight in front of us and he like made a couple of saves and then it looked like it was going to be like the easiest tap in, um, for Coventry and he somehow saved it. Like he didn't even know that he'd saved it, but he had saved it and it was just incredible if you watch it like on the highlights i'm guessing it's going to be on the highlights um it's actually insane like how close it was and how good that save was but um yeah what else happened in the game it was the um remembrance day game even though remembrance day was last sunday today is saturday it was last Sunday, but today was like our closest home game. So we had a lovely ceremony. I don't there was like a little video and everything and um some of the British dealers players read um a poem and I, it was it was really moving. It was yeah, I yeah, it was just it was a really nice ceremony. Um they had like a poppy wreath in the middle of the ice and yeah that was a really nice touch i think um what else happened uh, after the game um me and pete went into the players lounge and he got up on stage with michael davies and had his photo taken and like kind of when we went through into the players lounge we kind of like went through the door like marek tronchinski um he's a Czech player who um, has just like signed a full time contract with the Steelers. Like he signed as like injury cover, but now he is like signed for the rest of the season. And we really like the guy. And we like said, oh, we want we want to get a photo of Marek, Tr Marek Tronczynski. And he kind of walked out in front of us, and we were like, ask him. And um, neither of us asked him because he's he's Czech, so. He doesn't speak much English, if any English, I don't know. But he's an amazing player. He scored one of our goals tonight, which is epic. And yeah, <laughs> we we should have um we should have said something to him, <laughs> probably. Um I'm also trying to get right, so if you don't know Steelers, they have like sponsorship. Um, so you can like sponsor the jerseys and stuff. I've done it like pretty much every year since I've started going to the dealers where I will sponsor like at least one jersey. Well, generally it's just one jersey that I will sponsor because <laughs> it's quite expensive. But this year me and my mum decided that we were going to sponsor someone. Um, and we decided on Pavel Kantor, which was our... Um, he's also from the Czech Republic. Um, one of our goalies. Because... Um, He's just really nice, like, he doesn't speak much English, but, like, I met him, kind of, I don't know, like, I think I was, like, one of the first people he met in Sheffield, so he kind of, like, nodded to me or something, like, every time he saw me, and we were at the shirt launch and stuff, and he'd not met my mum, and he was, like, kind of sat down. And I didn't notice him there, but he was like, hello, hello, hello. And my mum just turned around and went, who's he? <laughs> like, 
who's this guy? Um, and I'm like, it's it's Pavel. And and then she was like, oh, okay. And then she started talking to him and said, I'm her mum. And his response was, good. <laughs> there's, there's not much English going on there. Um, but it was quite funny. And yeah, we took a shine into him. So we sponsored him. And then he got released by the Steelers. Um, yeah, I love him as a guy. Like, he's one of the nicest people. But, yeah, he kind of... He didn't really settle in this league at all. And, yeah, like, the games that he started, you just kind of didn't feel comfortable with him being in there. Um, we have another Czech who's a goalie. Um, and he's called Thomas Duba, and he is now like our number one goalie. Um, but yeah, that sponsorship has kind of just been sitting on the Steeler sponsorship page. Like they've kind of removed Pavel, but me and my mum's name are still like just floating there, like as a sponsor. It's like we're literally sponsoring no one, so we're trying to change it over to Marek Trzinski. And we'll see how we get on with that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anybody will have sponsored him already. But, yeah. Ooh, more exciting news. I have booked in to get another tattoo. Yes. So, um, I am getting um, a, a Glarian. Is it Glarian? The new ponita and i'm so excited um like the weirdest thing is is the fact that when i was getting my john moxley tattoo finished was when they at first announced this pokemon and like literally while i was getting this tattoo finished i went to steph my tattoo artist and said you need to tattoo this on me like right now because <laughs> it's the cutest little pokemon and obviously i was joking at the time but then she put up like a flash of um, the actual design and I was like, as soon as she put it up, I was like, it's kind of meant to be. <laughs> so yeah, I'm booked in for that in January. It is on the day after my birthday. Um, so yes, uh, it's kind of my birthday present to myself. Um, I wanted to, I would like to get it earlier, but it's kind of like with Christmas coming up and everything. Um, I kind of want to focus on that for a little bit and then in January I have like a little bit of time off after my birthday to get it like healed and stuff um before I go back to work but yes I uh I don't know where I'm gonna get it yet I'm thinking on my leg possibly on the back of my calf I don't know I don't I don't know where I'm I just the thing is right I don't mind getting like my arms tattooed, that's why I kind of like my arms are mostly filled. Um, because you can kind of sit up for them. But like, when you get leg tattoos, you've got to be on a table. I hate it. I hate like, I just don't feel comfortable on <laughs> But I'm running out of room. I literally don't think it would fit anywhere on my arm. I have this space on my arm, but I kind of don't think that it would fit there I don't know but we will see I think I've talked a lot of random stuff in this video like I go through phases when I'm making videos of like not being able to talk to the camera if that makes sense like I will get anxiety and I'll think no one's gonna watch it no one's gonna watch it anyway so why are you bothering um so I don't, I just get really nervous and I, I don't know. And then I get talking about something that I like. This is very much true in person. Like, in person, I, like, when I first meet people, I will not talk unless I'm talked to because I will assume that I'm going to make an idiot out of myself. So, like, the few times that this happened when somebody has... Um, recognised me or whatever from YouTube I have always been like the most socially awkward person you've ever seen in your life 
I can hear that Lila's just come upstairs, <laughs> but my door's closed, so she's not getting in. Um, so <laughs> I can literally hear her. Um, so yeah, those times like when people have met me, I've always been a little bit like, I, I, I think I'm being nice, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just really, really socially awkward, and yeah, I don't know. This is this is my head. This is what I deal with. I know, like, another thing is I know, like, probably about two years ago or something, I literally made a video saying that I was going to talk about my anxiety. And I still have not done that because I'm scared to. Because it's something that has affected me for so long that I've pushed it down so much that I don't I, I can't really talk about it because I've pushed it down that much and I ignore it that much but it's constantly there like just doing everyday things I can't do like answering the telephone I hate it I hate it making a phone call I hate even more <laughs> just simple stuff that people take for granted I can't do like today at the game um like usually I have Pete sat next to me but um his and Sarah's tickets were sold before they had a chance to book those tickets um so they sat behind us and next to me I had literally four children probably aging from like five to seven or something I don't know I'm not good with kids ages but they were all next to me and I can't deal with children because it really really sets off my anxiety like when some of them come into the shop at work like I will I I just I hate it <laughs> I hate when they're like loud I know it's just kids being kids and it shouldn't bother me but it really does like it sets off my anxiety so much like they were crawling all over the seats they were banging the seats they were kicking me and stuff and so yeah literally the kids were just being kids but it sets me off and it bothers me as well when the parents won't tell them to stop doing what they're doing when they're clearly acting out like they don't want to sit and watch hockey for an hour like with a 20 minute gap in between three periods they don't want to sit through that so they're going to get antsy and they're going to get annoyed and they're going to just mess about and the fact that the parents don't do anything bothers me like i have always said this like i do not want children ever like Ever. I I do never, ever want children. Ever, ever. I can think of nothing I would want less than a child. So, but I do think that I would be a better parent than a lot of people that I see being parents, if that makes sense. Like, discipline your children. Ah. <laughs> I know this doesn't go for everyone. I know that 99.9% .9 of people discipline their children and their children are lovely but yeah like I remember once when I in my old job like there was somebody who was stood with their kid and the kid was trying to climb up the shelves and the parent was just stood there watching them I'm like can you get not get him to do that because if they fall over that's really gonna hurt him and they're like oh Ed Edward get down it's like no just if if a stranger has got to tell you the danger of your child climbing up some shelves, then you you're doing something wrong. <sighs> I have talked for seventeen minutes of crap, and I've not said that much. I've just talked about Steelers, but yes, I'm gonna go now, and maybe do another video like this in the future. I don't know. I'm just literally laid on my bed right now talking crap. Um, I might do more videos like this if you guys like it. I me mean, just 
talking crap. Laid on my bed. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and all the good stuff. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Adios. Ah, I can't do it all. So look who just joined me. <laughs> Who's this? Is it you? This says Lila's eye. <laughs> you just wanted to come say hello. Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> Where are you going? There's there's your asshole. Lovely. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Adios.